Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. This is like the third time in a row that my audio has been messed up and I have to do another voiceover. Oh my. <sighs> okay, you know what? You know what? Whatever. This totally didn't demotivate me for like two months straight and you know, I didn't be, I wasn't able to put out a video in that time. It's fine, it's fine. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Here and welcome back to another Subnautica Below Zero video. Yes, I'm doing another voiceover, but this time it's because my entire audio got messed up and deleted. So here we are. Okay, so the first thing that happened is off camera, we found one of the grappling arm fragments, which I didn't even know was in the game. So here we just found the other piece. This happened. And then Alan started yapping about who knows what. We then proceeded to loot this place for everything it had for some reason. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. We went here, which turned out to be a dead end anyways, and we really shouldn't have bothered in the first place. Then we went back to one of the labs because I wanted to see if we could find the snow fox pieces, but I ran into a couple surprises along the way. That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. So, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen leviathan. I investigated and... You I... investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. We did manage to get the snow fox pieces. However, there is a bit of an issue that we need to address. Father humans cope with the loss of memories. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so... We can't even be aware of what we're losing, moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. All right, so this is what I was talking about. To build the snow fox, you apparently have to do it on the snow. And so when I was building it, I decided to cheese it a little bit, and here we go. Um, ultimately, it ended up being way too expensive, and I decided not to make a snow fox. It was that simple. So we made it back to one of the islands, and the sky looked super beautiful, but that's not what we were here for. We were here to finish the bridge and get across it so that we can get to the next area. Um, I assumed that there was a piece of Alan here, so that is why we, you know, finished the bridge so we could get across and get to that piece. And wow, would you look at that? Alan says that we are right. Isn't that crazy? But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. 
This area seemed a little intimidating because there were a bunch of blueprints to make weapons specifically designed to distract these creatures. But I decided, hey, you know what? We're here already. I really do not feel like doing all that. Let's just go. Let's just hope it works. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time. But then their presence becomes faint. Architect data patterns are so strong here. There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Then I discovered what it was that Alan was warning me about. But just like that, we had managed to escape. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Okay, so here I'm putting all the materials we're going to need for the late game so we can make Alan's body. And I may or may not have done a little cheating and looked up ahead of time of what the last piece needed, but... I already had a feeling I knew where to find it, so... Yep, it was inside of the Crystal Caverns, but before we did that, we ran into a little problem. Uh, when he was taken care of, we went to this giant cluster of crystals, and you'll just see all this way down is where the last piece is going to be. I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? 
Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism.